Well, hi everybody, I'm Jack, and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Coming to you from my Airbnb down here in Pensacola, and it is a little bit chilly this morning. Well, chilly compared to what it has been the past month or so. It's been a strange winter. Well, winter's strange to me anyway, because this is the first time I've been in winter in probably like 18 years. Uh, for any period of time, I've been I've visited home and gotten a little cool weather, but it was uh, super cold in January, then super warm in February, and now we're getting a little bit more of a cool spell. Anyhow, today I wanted to talk about why I eat how I do on the raw food diet. Why I eat like I do on this raw food diet. Um, I do videos every day, so if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would hit that big red button now then click on the little bell and check send notifications so you'll stay subscribed to the channel. You know, my whole life, I've, I've never been a big fan of the whole why, 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 but fair enough, when you do a YouTube channel, you're gonna get a lot of whys, but uh, I think the reason it frustrates me a lot is that there's, I'm not a why kind of person, if that makes sense. There's really not a whole lot of whys in my life. I've tried to let go of that whole kind of mentality of overthinking, why, well, why about everything? Well, a lot of things are just, they just are, you know, they happen. And I like to let things happen naturally like that and let them unfold. So a lot of times there's no other reason than just because. <laughs> Didn't you hate that when uh, your parents used to do that as a kid? Because I said so. It was very vague. But um, listen, the reason I eat how I eat on this lifestyle and the reason that I'm kind of really uh, narrow on it as far as like being able to share a lot with other people and a lot of other experiences, my experience has been very limited. Remember, if it, you may be new, maybe it's your first video, maybe you haven't seen all my story, I was reborn. I was reborn in the tropics. I came to this lifestyle, I came to vegan, I came to the raw part of it when I was living in Costa Rica. Um, and I was right down in the middle of it and I could get fresh fruit all the time. I could get ripe fruit all the time. I didn't have to think about the ripening. I didn't have to worry about seasons. I didn't have to think, oh my God, am I going to be able to get fruit? I didn't have to, there wasn't cooler weather coming. So I didn't have to be, oh God, it's going to be hard to be uh, raw or it's going to be hard to be this or that in the winter time. So like I say, a lot of the way that I do this lifestyle has been shaped around the tropics. And as most people say, you know, it's funny people kind of dilly-dally with, um, with the way they want to look at things. Like the same people that will say a lot of times, um, oh yes, this is, a this is the natural lifestyle of man. This is how we did blah, 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 years and years and years ago. They leave out the part of this lifestyle was developed. This was natural lifestyle when people were living in the tropics, close to the tropics where certain things were available to them. So, hey, I applaud everybody that does a plant-based lifestyle, vegan lifestyle, raw vegan lifestyle, wherever they are, doing the best they can. I applaud that, but my ways are my ways. And that's why I'm always stressing on this channel. This is just kind of me showing things I do. I'm not a teacher, I'm not an educator. I don't want to tell people, you need to eat this, you need to eat that. I want to share things, I want to explore ideas, I want to share options, but uh, in the end, my experience is my experience and your experience is your experience. Um, but yeah, I was reborn in the tropics and to me, it's just, listen, I'm not going, you're not going to rationalize and get me to change what I'm doing right now. And I don't want to rationalize and get you to change. I'm just saying, just realize that because I see all this stuff these days, like a lot of people aren't into the fruit anymore. Everybody seems to be, and it, all this stuff is trendy, but I stay away from the trends. Like I say, I was born, I was born in the tropics where I, I learned how to eat. And I learned how to eat my way. So when I hear the stuff, well, the fruit, the fruit, the fruit, I'm always going to be about the fruit. You know, good or bad, live or die, I'm about the fruit. Now, like I said in a video the other day, if that's the worst habit somebody's going to have in their life, I think it's a lot better, infinitely better than the habits that um, I had in the past. But yeah, I can, I'm just because of my background and who knows, maybe one day there might be shifts and there might be phases. I might at some point, I've spoken before about this, like I spent a lot of time in Europe back in the 
early to mid 90s and I hope to get back over there to spend some major time again. Um, Greece especially was a country I love. I could see spending some major time in Greece and Spain. Well, okay, maybe, you know, I would have to adapt a little bit. Maybe I eat differently for a phase of time, but I'm always going to revert back to the fruit. Unless, unless, you know, I hate that word always, unless something just drastically goes wrong in my health, drastically goes wrong in my body, and I've, I get a clear sign that, okay, dude, you gotta stop eating like you do, or you have to do this or that. Now, as I say this, I don't want to sound cocky or a know-it-all. Um, I'm sure I've, like I say, I've only, I've been doing this uh, close to six years. You know, that well, June will be six years. So um, I am fully aware that I do need to keep educating myself and I need to keep trying to fill in holes because, you know, there's people, and I always like to go back to this. I've said this a number of times. There's people that have been on this lifestyle for six, seven, eight years, 10 years even, and everything's going very well. And then all of a sudden they have some sort of a health issue. They figure out they did have a deficiency or they figure out they weren't getting this or they were getting too much of that. And they have to recalculate a little bit. That can happen at some point. And when I feel it, I will move with it. Um, because basically everything, everything is accumulation. Everything is a, is a product of our experiences of the past and everything about our past. The past six years has led me to where I am now. And once again, I, like I say, I don't like to intellectualize and overthink things. Everything I eat now is just exactly what I want to eat. Once again, maybe I'm being like a kid. Maybe I shouldn't be eating everything I want to eat. Well, Jack, why are you only eating three foods? Jack, why are you doing this? Because that's what my body wants to do. I don't wake up and do this stuff. I don't struggle with this diet, so I don't wake up and have to do all these little things and make myself, uh, okay, well, here's the plan for the day, and oh, will I get through the day? Am I gonna eat something bad? Oh my God, what am I gonna do when those rough times come in? I've worked through that. I mean, I don't have to really focus on that anymore. I just eat what I want to eat that day, and I settle into patterns. I posted something the other other day, and people are so volatile out there. The second they hear something they don't like, listen, I'm going to tell you this again. Anytime somebody out there gets really emotional, passionate, mad about something, about food, why, 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 you know? Think about it. If you get upset about anything anybody says out there having to do with this lifestyle or diet in particular, what does that say about you? Has it touched a nerve? Because quite frankly, I don't care what Joe's eating over here. I've never, I don't think ever felt led to make a comment on what somebody else is eating or get all passionate or worked up because they say something that disagrees with how I see things. See, I don't, I, I take care of this vessel. This is the only vessel that I've been entrusted to take care of. Now, I don't say I don't care about other people. I, I like to see people make good choices, but in the end, you know, it, that's for you to decide. But for me, I just go with what I like to eat. So, to, and also too, a lot of times I'll get these questions, you know, well, you're just, your diet is so narrow. You need more than that in there, you know? But it's like I go through these, I get very repetitive, like I am right now. Like last week, I think, five out of six days, I ate pretty much the exact same thing throughout the day. Very little deviation. And if it was, it was just more in the order of what I was eating them that, rather than in the particular foods. Um, but, I, and I'll change. I'm not, I, you know, I haven't, I've been eating no fat. I'll be going back to the tropics. Um, I'll eat mostly fruit down there, but I'll eat some coconut. You better believe I'm gonna eat some coconut because I love me some coconut. And somebody out there right now is already calculating and telling me why I shouldn't eat the coconut. I don't really give a, I go with what my body tells me to eat. And even little things that may not be exactly perfect, if my body doesn't ask for something too radical or something I deem like, okay, no, 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 I definitely don't eat that, I go with it. I go with it because, you know, it's like I'm doing, I'm, I'm eating good. I'm eating whole plant-based foods. I do get a variety over the course of a year, even though I'll settle in and eat one food at a, or like three or four foods, nothing else for a long time. That'll change. When I get back to the tropics too, it'll be a smorgasbord, but okay, now I'm just starting to ramble. But in the end, 
that's just uh, why I eat like I do on this lifestyle. I'm a bit chaos. I'm a bit chaos. And hey, I don't, once again, this is not a like, okay, this is the right way. You need to eat like this. This is why I eat like this because of where I came from, of where I came from doing this lifestyle. But for you, yours might vary. But if I'm not able to answer the whys all the time, that's why, because I'm not all that cerebral about this. This is a natural way of living. And I just kind of like to feel my way along with some education mixed in just to make sure that I'm not missing out on some key things. But that's my way of doing it, good or bad. Hope you guys enjoyed this one today. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and we'll see you tomorrow. Peace.